Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives the Arc Day by Day. We are here on Day 33, and I have added another new mod just to kind of help me manage my ever-growing inventory, which is becoming a pain at this point. I'm now using Pullet, so I can pull resources, which has made inventory management and crafting just so much easier. Especially building a tower, I didn't realize how painful it would be to get resources up and down from the second floor. Not my brightest idea. Not for a, a more vanilla playthrough, anyway. So, um, I recently killed my Beelzebufo, my caving frog, so I need to go and get another caving frog, and preferably avoid things like that uh, while I'm out here. I'd rather not get killed by yet another Rhineo. Um, I did eventually find this one, a nice uh, blue color on it. And, um, yeah, I decided, you know, the Thyla that I ride, it's got a decent enough saddle. I'm pretty sure it's an enhanced saddle. And um, it can it has enough health. I've been leveling the health in it. So I can just tank some hits. So I just kind of ride out here. If I'm going to tame a, a frog or something, I'll just ride out on the Thyla instead of making a trap or something. It's easier. So I knock this thing out. It's level 140. Pretty good level. And uh, now we'll have ourselves yet another caving frog. Boy, I did not realize how much I would appreciate having one of these things the first time I tamed one. These are so nice. And uh, now that I have a Thyla, getting prime is easy too. So it's just a matter of time. It doesn't even need narcotics. It'll, it'll just wake up. So I'll just kind of sit around, watch it. Watch the Dimetrodon swirling around in the water. And we have ourselves another frog. I want to grind levels on it. So at some point in this video, I will be going back to the Cave of the Hunter yet again. It's just an easy way to kill a bunch of stuff and get some decent levels. Um, part of the reason I've been pushing my way into the Cave of the Immune is because I really want the loot that's in there. There's some yellow and red cave drops, and they are so nice. So, um, yeah, I really want to get into that cave and, and run that. I also know that I need uh, kibble so I can start getting some of my uh, boss armies uh, tamed up. And kibble means Uteranus. I need one for the boss army anyway. So I came out looking to tame Udis. And, uh, yeah, taming on the back of a Thyla, trying to tame a Udi, not the smartest idea I've ever had. It did not go very well. I think I probably could have pulled it off. If I had a, a Thyla with the health cranked way up. So um, instead I just pinned the location on the map and decided to walk my way back home. I made up some darts and some more spear bolts too. Uh, the harpoon launcher is the best thing that I have to knock things out right now. It does more uh, torpor per second than anything else that I have, I'm pretty sure. So, until I can get a better long neck or a better crossbow, I'm just uh, using harpoons. And I'm putting up a UD trap. I will leave the link to the trap design that I found in the description, assuming I can find it again. This is not an original design, but it's really simple. It's four pieces. It's a foundation, a pillar you turn sideways, a sloped wall, and a double doorway. And you just put it up just like this. Go to the double doorway. And, okay, that's the wrong direction. One second. There we go. Now, I just walk my bird to the other side. Get it out of the way so it doesn't get bit by the UD. And now I just gotta walk the UD into the trap. I can hear it. It's a pretty good level one, too. So I just need to go down and find it. I need to be careful. Where is it? There it is. Down by the river. So, I am going to need two of these things. Um, I don't really need two high level ones. Not with the better breeding mod anyway. Because um, it'll guarantee that I get the best stats. As long as I get halfway decent ones. But more than anything, I need the kibble right now so I can start uh, taming stuff. Just trying to keep my distance... And be in a spot where I can get to the trap real quick. So... Let's see if we can get this thing lured in. Give me a second here. 
All right, where'd it go? There it is. I can hear it. I think I clipped it. And here it comes. All right. <laughs> Ow. 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 Got it. I think. Yep. There it is. It ran into the trap. I don't remember exactly why this works and other traps don't, but yeah, we have a, uh, a UD in the trap now. And this is such an easily recyclable trap. Definitely doing that again. So, uh, I just left some prime meat in it, and honestly, I should have let it starve. But now we're managing a level 150 Uteranus Tame, and it takes a bit. I think it takes like an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. So I was just killing Argents and Spinos and Hyena Dons, anything that would give me prime meat at this point. Because I had already started the taming process, even though it doesn't need narcotics. I have to keep prime meat in it all the time. Anyway, I did find a really good source of prime meat in this uh, Alpha Carno over here. Hoping it'll give me a better crossbow. Really need a better crossbow, man. At this point, uh, anything green, just it's not good enough, regardless of what it is at this point. So, um, this is why you make a combat, Argent. You level a little bit of health, plenty of melee. I got a lot of stamina, too, so I don't have to keep landing. And uh, just tank hits. And this Alpha Carno is dead. I got something. Oh, I got a purple hatchet. Journeyman metal hatchet. Nice. Uh, still wish it was a crossbow, but hey, it'll work. And finally, after quite a while and so much prime meat farming, <laughs> the UD started to uh, get attacked by a scorpion. So now Jet's fighting the scorpion and the UD's still stuck in the trap. Let's, I'm trying to get this thing out. Come on. There we go. Now it'll fear roar the scorpion and it should... There we go. I just gotta get this thing back home. While I was on my way back, I picked up this uh, supply crate. Definitely going to use that Mastercraft fur. I'm pretty sure the mutton's spoiled, though. Uh, the next day, I was out um, looking for another Uteranus so that I could start breeding them and getting some eggs for the kibble farm. And so I was killing off the Carnos around the UD that I found and putting up my trap again. Same design. This one didn't seem to work as well for some reason. I think the ground was too steep. Might be the problem. So I'm flying around, and I'm trying to get this thing in the trap. Come on. And it did not walk in. It did not want to walk in the trap. I got it right lined up, and it just wouldn't. Thankfully, uh, it's down the hill. But I don't know how I'm going to get this thing in the trap now. <clears throat> So I was trying to figure out where I would, where else I'd put the trap, and I found this thing. Wouldn't you know it? It's a juvenile Uteranus. So I put my spyglass away and literally just claimed it. Somehow, whatever parent it's attached to got killed, and it's attached to a, was attached to a wild max level. And as I was going to fly away, look what falls down. It's another Uteranus. And guess what level it is? It's a 150 as well. So I sweep in and pick it up, and now I have a male juvenile 150 Uteranus and a female juvenile Uteranus, also 150. Now, they're going to grow up as level 150s, but hey, you know, it's better than nothing, and I definitely have one of each gender. If nothing else, my kibble farm's up and ready to go as soon as these things are full grown, right? Let's just walk it out, let it grow up. I've got food on the trough. They're already juvenile. I can just leave them out. Uncryoed the one. 
There you go. Two Uteranus on top of the one that I tamed the other day. Perfect. Um, then I went out uh, pearl farming on my angler fish. Man, I wish I had gotten one of these things sooner. Since the last video, this made uh, farming pearls so much easier, and I need them for the UD saddle because the UD saddle takes saddle takes uh, silica pearls. So since I got the pearls with my anglerfish, now I can make that saddle. And I am dreading the day that I get a higher quality Uteranus saddle. It is going to be so much work to grind up the pearls to make that thing. Uh, and I, this is where I'm going to put up the uh, egg laying station. In the meantime, I'm going to make mind wipe tonics for a couple of reasons. First of all, I want to make custom food. I've got my farm fully up and running and operational. I'm just kind of getting into endgame stuff now. I made these two recipes. I always make uh, cheeseburger, or in this case, steak burger, and uh, Mountain Dew. And also, um, because I was in single-player settings for a day, I accidentally over-leveled, so I'm not the level I'm supposed to be. I am a little, little over the level I should be at this point. So, uh, yeah, that'll fix that. <clears throat> and we'll know what level I actually am supposed to be. A couple of my creatures got over-leveled, too. I think Carrier Pigeon got over-leveled a little bit. And my uh, frog that's dead now got over-leveled a little bit. I'll just put this uh, pen up. And I don't remember where exactly I saw this design. But I've been using this since ASE. It's not an original design, I know that, but I don't know which YouTuber I saw make this. So just put this up, ramps on both sides, ceilings all the way across, fences all the way around. And we should be pretty much done. And it looks kind of thin, but yes, you can fit Uteranus up there. So you just get on the Uteranus and, and you can walk it up the ramp. That's what it looks like when it's done. So I came over here to check on my babies, and one's gone and the other's dead. Um, yeah, I can only imagine what happened. Let me guess. Let me guess. They're not trackable. Nope. So that must mean, then, that somehow they died. I have food in the trough, I thought. It says they starved to death. What in the world happened? This happened. That green line is the feeding trough range, and carrier pigeons right where they were growing up. That's why they starved to death. I felt like an idiot. So now I have to go back and actually tame myself yet another Uteranus. I went and picked up my trap, started looking around and trying to find a, a better UD or something that I could uh, use to breed and get that operation underway. I need the kibble. I'm tired of prime meat taming stuff. I want a kibble tamed stuff. It's just so much more convenient, especially if I'm going to be basilo taming sometime soon. So I put up my trap again. Well, it's not the trap. Oh, it's a trap I use. It's not my design. I think I said that already. Put this up and just got to lure this thing into the trap. So as I was trying to get it lured into the trap morning of day 37, I got knocked off of my bird by a Perlovia. I'm trying to get back on. The Udy's chasing me around. The Perlovia is chewing on Jet. And can I get it in the trap? I... Did I? Nope. 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 No, I'm dead. I am so... I am so dead. And I'm injured. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so I took Carrier Pigeon back out, picked up my stuff, and uh, tried to get this thing in the trap again. Just be patient. Take your time. Don't be afraid to tank a couple of hits. Land a good shot. Get it aggroed on me and not my tame. Right down the middle. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Boom. 
We have it in the trap. And I'm fear roared. But hey, it's not going anywhere. Just knock it out again. Another 150 Uteranus tame. I think now is a good time to mention that this took me a couple of weeks to edit the video and get it out. Because there's 15 hours of footage, all in all, in this. Um, and it, it takes a while to edit, too. So if you want to know, I only upload every couple of weeks. That's why. So, let that thing tame up and did some drop running, including this one, which fell down into a cliffside. And that's where it stayed. No, there's no cave down there or anything. So I ghosted my way into the wall so I could pull the stuff out. It didn't really end up being much, but, you know, hey, it's something. Elevator platforms, I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Honestly, I might just demolish them, but they seem like something nice to take. So ghost my way back out of the wall. There we go. I try to avoid ghosting unless it's necessary, but I, I felt like that's just the game glitching, so I went ahead and let myself do it. Like I did when my bird fell through the floor. Look, Ark is a glitchy game. You gotta use the workarounds. So yeah, I just kind of did drop runs the whole day, pretty much. I just uh, a lot of yellow drops, a couple of red drops, a couple of purple drops. Um, I'm trying to show pretty much every single drop that I got. I even um, spent the time and went out to Carnot Island. I kept getting bullets. I was surprised. So I felt like, man, I gotta make a, a pistol. So I can use all of these bullets. And actually, I didn't have to. Because at one point, I ended up actually getting a pistol out of one of these drops. I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, it was nice, though, getting some of this uh, loot. And I need a place to store all this stuff. I can't keep having Carrier Pigeon and Jet carry around all of the stuff that I'm pulling out of drops. So, especially Jet. He doesn't have a whole lot of weight. Um, let's see. What I, there's the pistol. So I, I got that pistol out of a drop. Got another blueprint for advanced bullets. On my way back to the UD at this point. More elevator platforms. Here's a purple one not far from where the UD is down. Spino Saddle might come in handy, honestly. I just dump this uh, prime meat in, and it should tame almost instantly. I just get this thing cryoed up, take it back home, pick up the trap too while I'm at it. So it's day 38, and it's time to expand the storage of the house. Since the second floor is done, it's time for me to, you know, use it for what it was designed for. So I'm going to put up my little storage shack here, and you'll see kind of what I have in mind. At some point, I'm going to put up vaults, but at some point I'm going to replace the vaults with dedicated storage, probably, at least in most cases. Um, the saddles and other things that I pull up, I probably won't, because I don't think you can store those in dedicated storage. I've never actually used dedicated storage. Um, I changed my mating interval because it was time to get the mating process underway, and there's going to be a lot of breeding. So instead of wasting 20 in-game in days breeding and raising Uteranus and waiting hours for them to be able to make another egg, I just need to get this process going. So I just downed the, the mating interval. No big deal. And it's time to expand the farm, too, because um, I am at the point now where I want to have berries as part of my farm, and I feel like I need a more consistent and faster output of all four major crops. So we are going to more drastically expand the farm in this episode. I had plenty of fertilizer thanks to the dung beetle, so yeah, just keep dumping fertilizer in all of these plots and getting them ready to go slowly start seeding these things and planting rows of crops in my new garden. And at some point we'll add berries to it too. 
Now it's day 39, and the game audio's back, because that was uh, gone for a while. Now, I have to uh, tick a special box to make the recording software record the audio from the game output, and uh, one time I forgot to clip it. So while I was waiting for an egg to incubate, I thought, hey, if I'm going to make kibble, I need honey. And you know what honey means? Honey means bees. So here we are in the redwoods uh, doing flybys on a nest and chasing this bee all over the redwoods because it did not want to eat my flowers for some reason. But um, I just stuck with it, took my time, stayed patient, and finally, eventually, I uh, started to get stung to death. But at least I had fed it a flower, so I can track it more easily now. And I know that I'm doing something right. I thought I had forgotten a step for a while. I was having that much trouble with it. Just take the time. Be careful. Don't get stung too early. It's stuck up in the corner. I'm trying to jump and feed it a flower. Come on, come on, come on. Now, it does not want to be tamed. So after a couple of more failed attempts, here I am again, and it came down to me. There we go. One beehive. Which I will put right in... Nope. Uh, there. And we even have flowers left over, too. So there we go. The hive is going. And um, I needed another cryo fridge. So I went out to Blue Ob and well, I was on my way out there. I got this really nice shot. Love this. Absolutely beautiful. Sometimes, I mean, even on the lower settings that I use, sometimes this game can be really, really pretty. I like that. So I got my cryo fridge from Blue Ob and got the uh, oil that I needed because I was uh, oil and some pearls. As I was uh, crafting up some. What was I crafting? I can't even remember what exactly I was crafting, but I needed more oil uh, to craft it. And so I went out to go and get some. Come back home and check on my egg, which is in the uh, air cons, and that's going to be a problem. Finish putting up these vaults. Make sure I name them properly. So we have saddles already. So this is going to be weapons. And this one's going to be armor. And we're going to do that all the way around the second floor. So now day 40... The uh, UD finally hatches. I imprint on it. And it's a male. Not what I'm looking for. I need females that lay eggs. And I did not realize I was not hitting the Uteranus here. I mean, it looks like I am, sure. And I might have been every once in a while. But I ended up having to destroy my air cons in order to get this thing out. And now I gotta make new air cons. Thankfully, they're pretty cheap was not an issue at all. Make a couple more, snap them back in, no problem. Just gotta be more careful with the eggs. I also decided to, um, I was checking something on a behemoth gate, and I made a couple, and I was like, you know what, I need to put up a fence around my, uh, around my base. So I went ahead and used the behemoth gates that I made, I put them up, and I started working on creating a fence around my whole property. And this took me an entire in-game day. Um, there were so many resources that went into this, and even with resource pulling and the solo farm mod and all that, it still took me a whole day to get this fence done. At some point, I'll probably paint it too, but for now, I think it looks all right. This is it mostly done. Just got to finish this last stretch over here. And that's what it looks like finished. That's my base area. And I expanded the lighting on the inside of the base too. 
Now, I mean, it's not like I couldn't see in the middle of the night, but now I definitely will be able to see in the middle of the night. Two lights on each floor, either side of the uh, staircase. Put some lights up in the farm. And also put these oil lamps up next to the gate, because I really like the way that they look. I mean, if you just take a look at this. Very majestic. Spent uh, first part of day 41 taming an ichthyosaurus. I needed something to help me get around the ocean fast, and something I could fire from the back of. I'd use my Megalodon, it's certainly a better combat mount, but I needed something I could shoot from the back of, and you can't do that on a Megalodon. So here is me running the Cave of the Hunter, like I said I was going to do, and I'm going to mostly cut this down. I just want to show you guys something that I, I ran into an issue that I've never run into before. Maybe you guys know what happened. I think it happened when I did a Dino Wipe, but the cave way over spawned. I mean... Just uh, take a look at this coming up here. I was making my way through thinking, man, there's a lot of stuff in here. And I come around and I see this. Yeah, that's like 20, 25 spiders. And they're all coming at me. And I'm like, okay, I know there's spiders, but can I take all of these guys on my frog? I figured, you know what? They're slow. I'll give it a shot. So, yeah. Um... There are a lot of spiders here, and I am, honestly, if I was on a raptor, I'd be super, super dead. The, the tongue swipe on the frog is just so helpful here for this, because I can hit four or five of them at once instead of just one. And just like that, I managed to take care of them all, and honestly, it wasn't even that close. Picked up the artifact. I should have all the artifacts I need to run. Gamma, Beta, Alpha, no problem. Um, went ahead and set up another bed at the Cave of the Clever. So I could run this cave. Um, so this is... I mean, I technically finished the Cave of the Massive. I just didn't make it all the way back out. This is the third and final cave that I would need to get the artifact for. I am going to have to go back into the Cave of the Massive at some point and get that artifact too, but this one, especially on a frog that has a few levels in it already, this one isn't that much harder than the other cave. It's mostly just the bats. Here again, look at all of the snakes that are in this cave. I swear, every cave I went into was overspawned, and I go back into the Cave of the Immune pretty quick here, and so that means that I had to deal with an overspawned cave of the immune too. But yeah, I was able to get the artifact of the clever. Not really any problem. And I started making my way through the uh, artifact of the immune cave. Another interesting thing about these spiders, where they're overspawned, they're always the same color. I, I don't know why that is. Because I, I spiders are usually different colors. But they were always, the, in areas where they hit overspawn, they were always brown and yellow. I don't know, it was weird. It's like they got duplicated somehow. While I was outside of the cave healing, I, I pulled this stuff out of a, a drop. I made my way deeper into the cave and got some Ascendant Gilly Boots and dumped the Iguanodon saddle. I didn't need it. I realized at this point I wasn't going to make it all the way through the cave, but I wanted to get these drops, so I got this uh, blueprint for a hatchet, which I have the purple one, so I probably won't use it anytime soon, but in the event I ever lose it, it'll be nice. And I got that t almost 200% journeyman. Long neck. Yes! Long neck. I have a long neck. Well, actually, I have a short neck, but now I have a long neck rifle. 
came home, sorted out all the stuff that I had, some stuff I had made, a bunch of stuff I had pulled out of the drops in the cave and whatnot. Waited for my Uduranus to finish growing up, the first one that I hatched. And uh, since I had the honey, I have a full set of crops, a bunch of cooked meat, prime meat, meat jerkies, UD eggs now. I've got plenty of fiber. You guys know what that means. I'll get some eggs. Still got other UDs on the grow, so this uh, farm will continue to to grow. I'm gonna start making. I'm gonna use one batch of eggs to make kibble, and then the next batch I'm gonna hatch until the it's done and full size, and then it will only be for making kibble. Um, it's gonna take 20 or 30 in-game days before that's done, but we'll get there. And now we have five extraordinary kibble. So that's it. We have our kibble farm up. Beauty's tamed. Two caves of three done before the Gamma Broodmother. That's a, a lot of work. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know uh, how I did and how I can improve. Subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload more episodes of this series. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.